Hi everyone, it's Todd Johnson, the Palma Ferra Guy, and today we're going to talk about the SPF value or uh, the lack thereof for Palma Ferra oil, uh, also known uh, as Limelight's exclusive product, One Drop Wonder. Uh, it's been extremely warm here in southern Iowa the last few days, so uh, thought it was kind of time to think about uh, going back to the beach. Uh, summer's coming on, spring's coming on and uh, we're all going to be going out into the sun. Um, as you'll see in part of this video, uh, we're going to take a dive into the science and um, how Palmafera oil or One Drop Wonder uh, may be uh, significantly reducing the effects in the sun. However, according to the definitions by the FDA, uh, we cannot assign an SPF value to this oil, uh, nor can we make any SPF claims. So. Whatever you do when you're out there promoting One Drop Wonder, please do not say that it has any SPF value. However, as I said, I'll be able to kind of take you through uh, my thoughts behind and, and some of the scientific reasons why uh, that One Drop Wonder can be reducing the effects in the sun. And that's simply what we need to say about this product. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, be sure to like at the bottom and uh, subscribe to my channel. So here we go. Okay, so what is an SPF value? SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor. And it's really a unit measurement of time for how long your skin can be exposed to direct sunlight without a, without a sunburn. So it's a unit measurement uh, that is really a multiplier. So an SPF value of 30, what that really says is you can go out in direct sunlight and if you'd normally get a sunburn in one minute, you can now stay in the sunlight for 30 minutes without getting a sunburn. Of course, this is all heavily dependent upon uh, where you are uh, from a geography point of view, time of day, the intensity of the sunlight, is it a cloudy day, is it a high UV index day? Uh, are you at the beach? Do you have on a high value waterproof or sweatproof type of uh, product? And so ultimately it's about protecting your skin from photons which can become very damaging uh, over time which ultimately causes a sunburn. So at the end of the day what, we're, what a manufacturer is trying to do uh, is to set an SPF value according to uh, the rules and regulations um, as standardized by the FDA uh, to enable consumers to go out and make an informed purchase to ultimately uh, protect viable skin cells from damage. Okay, so let's talk about the FDA and claims that we can make about One Drop Wonder uh, as applied to the skin and in the sun. So first, the FDA has judged that the, there's really kind of two regions of ultraviolet light that are important when it comes to protecting the skin from the sun. Uh, the UVA region, which is 400 to 320 nanometers, and then the shorter wavelength uh, for UVB, which is 320 to 290 nanometers. Uh, there are very uh, rigorous protocols that have to be followed to establish your product or your compound uh, as a um, entity that can be assigned an SPF value. And unfortunately, uh, One Drop Wonder or Palma Ferra Oil uh, has zero absorption of light uh, according to the FDA in the UVA and UVB uh, region of light. So it has an SPF value of zero. So fine, uh, we accept that and uh, we move on because uh, what we really know is that uh, One Drop Wonder does absorb uh, very strongly uh, below 290 nanometers, so kind of in the UVC. Uh, really has no meaning for a sunblock or an SPF value. Uh, but scientifically it is significant because it is technically a uh, UV uh, absorber and uh, can be used as a UV protectant, uh, but again, not uh, in relationship to any SPF claims. So what can we say about this uh, amazing oil 
that we know it as one drop wonder of palmaferrite oil. Well, first and foremost, it's made in the USA, it's natural, it's vegan, it's chemical free, it's cold pressed, and uh, in general, it's a very unique oil that can only be found and distributed in its pure deodorized form by Limelight as One Drop Wonder. Additionally, it's a uh, oil that appears to have uh, some real uh, healing properties to it. And of course, this is all said without any verification by the FDA. Uh, but as you all know, that uh, when uh, One Drop Wonder uh, is applied to several skin conditions, uh, one finds that generally uh, you will receive relief uh, from that application. Uh, with respect to uh, SPF and uh, uh, protecting one's skin from the sun or helping uh, remediate the effects of being in the sun uh, by applying uh, One Drop Wonder directly to the skin in those affected areas, uh, really all we can say is that it helps to reduce the effects of being in the sun. And that's about it. So let's uh, keep to uh, that line and that line only. And uh, I think uh, everyone will be fine with that. So what are the key layers of the skin that we are worried about when it comes to protecting our skin from the sun? Well, this is a really nice illustrative uh, example of the three layers, but really what we're interested in are the uh, epidermis and uh, to some extent the dermis uh, layers of the skin. And that's primarily because um, the, by definition, according to the FDA, we're concerned with UVB and UVA. Uh, wavelengths of light with respect to uh, uh, sun-related injuries of the skin and uh, those are really the two layers uh, that we're worried about protecting ourselves against those effects. So if ODW is uh, not a sun blocker then we have to ask the question how is it uh, apparently reducing the effects of being in the sun well, we also know that uh, if you've been in the sun without any protection, uh, it is very soothing to apply and uh, we know that the skin can uh, heal fairly rapidly uh, in a pain-free manner. So we really have to examine then what happens to the skin when exposed to uh, UVA and UVB uh, wavelengths. And so as you can see by this picture here, uh, UVA uh, really gets in uh, deep through the skin. Uh, it is uh, very damaging, of course, and it's going uh, it's going way deep into the into the dermis and uh, the subcutaneous tissue. Uh, that's important because when you get down in there, you're starting to get into uh, blood vessels uh, where uh, cells uh, will generate collagen, elastic fibers, and etc. And these are all very important things uh, to maintaining uh, healthy uh, skin. Of course, there's also uh, quite a bit of uh, cellular DNA damage going on along the way for both UVA and UVB. And uh, this is really what one has to address uh, post-exposure to sunlight at these levels. And so, um, although One Drop Wonder is not acting as a uh, sun blocker with an SPF value of zero, uh, we are uh, somehow, uh, it appears to be making an impact on the cellular level and uh, trying to uh, uh, prevent uh, cellular death at some, at some degree. So what's going on? Let's start with uh, what can cause damage to the skin. So there are several uh, factors that can damage the skin. All of them are primarily generated uh, via some type of mechanism involving a free radical. So, you know, according to the schematic, you can generate free radicals uh, at the skin uh, through either uh, uh, light's contact with uh, oxygen or water molecules. Uh, primarily what happens is water molecules get converted into hydroxyl radicals 
and that causes uh, cellular damage uh, at the DNA level. Of course, you could also get this from pollution, stress, and a poor diet. Those are different mechanisms. So we're really just going to uh, focus on how light causes uh, damage at the uh, indirectly at the DNA cellular level. So here's a uh, nice schematic on free radical uh, propagated indirect DNA damage at the cellular level. So uh, UVB uh, comes in, uh, creates a reactive oxygen species uh, at the skin, primarily again in contact with water, forms a hydroxyl uh, radical, which then uh, comes in contact with your DNA. It causes a nick in it, so that's kind of uh, going left to right on the DNA strand. And at this point, the DNA is damaged, and it can lead to uh, two primary outcomes. Uh, one, um, it dies and goes through its natural cycle, the cell does, or two, the cell recovers, or three, you have a mutation and then you're in trouble because then mutations can lead to cancer. So this is kind of the natural uh, picture uh, pathway, if you will, uh, for how light kills cells indirectly uh, at the skin. So how is it that ODW is reducing the damaging effects of sunlight on the skin if it has an SPF of zero. Well, I believe it's kind of in the higher level attributes of what we know about ODW. Uh, we know it's a super antioxidant, so I've already spent the better part of this video telling you that free radical um, damage occurs when sunlight hits the skin, so super uh, antioxidants are good at soaking up those free radicals and uh, will have benefit for helping reduce the effects of sunlight on the skin. Uh, we know that ODW, through other um, testimonies throughout Limelight, that there's tremendous scar repair. And scar repair can really only occur when uh, collagen is being repaired. And for collagen stimulation to occur and, and etc., um, this has to come from ODW penetrating across the epidermis into the dermis layer. And of course, we know that, uh, as we've shown earlier in this video, that UV, A, and B can do damaging effects to the, uh, not only the epidermis, but the dermal dermis layer of the skin. So it's important to know that ODW can get into the areas of insult, if you will, when sunlight hits the skin. And uh, therefore, then there's some opportunity to work on uh, at the cellular level to not only protect DNA from free radical mechanisms, but also to possibly uh, stimulate uh, collagen uh, repair uh, at those levels while that damage is occurring. Of course, all of these uh, statements have not been evaluated by the FDA uh, for um, any type of statement of fact or uh, any of these statements been approved by the FDA. So it's completely conjecture on my part. However, we uh, have a lot of, uh, if you will, uh, related evidence that shows that uh, although we're not blocking sunlight, uh, there is a cellular benefit uh, to the skin by having ODW on it either before or after uh, exposure uh, to sunlight. So let me leave you with uh, some powerful testimony to the use of One Drop Wonder, and in this case also with Sotox, uh, from Limelight Beauty Guide, uh, Teresa uh, McConnell. Uh, Teresa posted on Facebook that uh, she had uh, tonsil cancer, had radiation, and as you can see, had some pretty uh, significant skin damage from that radiation. Uh, this is an amped up version of, of a sunburn. And you can see um, uh, in her testimony uh, that by daily use over a period of time uh, with One Drop Wonder and Sotox, uh, that there was tremendous uh, healing uh, to her skin and uh, really speaks to the power of the, uh, of the Limelight skin care offering uh, where not only One Drop Wonder can be really beneficial, but it also can um, serve as a booster uh, to aid in the other Limelight family of products.
So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I know it was a little bit of a dive into the scientific realm, but hopefully I explained it to everyone's satisfaction. And uh, again, as long as we don't overstate the uh, therapeutic or medicinal values, a one drop wonder will always be fine. Uh, let's just try to uh, let uh, this uh, amazing oil speak for itself out in the real world. And um, as always, if you have uh, comments, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll say right now as I'm starting up my channel, I've had some issues uh, trying to reply to comments, but hopefully I'll get this solved soon. So anyway, uh, I really hope you all uh, enjoyed this and looking forward to uh, doing more videos in the future here on the Palmafera Guys One Drop Wonder Palmafera Oil channel. Thanks. Bye.